Thompson this morning at, what was it, 9 o'clock this morning. I had to go run sound for um, a funeral service. Um, so I get there, and I'm turning on sound equipment and all that wonderful stuff. And I happen to look inside the casket, you know, and I didn't recognize the person that was in the casket, but they said I knew it, I didn't know. I feel like I didn't know. Anyway, um, so service is going on, service is going on, and I'm actually doing some DJing in the middle of the, uh, of the, of the service. And I look down, and I'm looking, I'm up in the balcony, and I look down, and I'm looking into the casket, and I'm like, I just don't know this person. Right? Like, I don't know this person. And it said a lot of wonderful things about her. Said she was a uh, very pretty person to be around. You know, she's always cracking jokes, always cooking, doing this, doing that, blah, 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 blah. And um, so it, the, the service is coming to an end. And uh, the people are, uh, there's a processional going out. So one of the deacons comes upstairs and he's talking with his wife about whatever. And um, I said, hey, I said, hey, Deacon, I said, let me let me see that, um, what is it, what's it called, the program? I was like, let me see that program. Let me see the front of that program. So I look at the front of the program. It's got a picture on it. I'm looking. I said, wait a minute. That's her? I'm like, that's the one that's laying up there right now? She's like, yeah. I said, man, I did not know. Like, I did not recognize her. Did not recognize her at all. So anyway. My brain went back to when I first started going over there. I'm sorry, but uh, she wasn't nice to me at all. <laughs> like, she wasn't nice. I, there, was a, there was a parking spot that was available. I'm coming in for like 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock service. And I pull up and she said, who do you think you are? <laughs> do you think you're the pastor? I'm like, huh? Like, I've never been, any, like, lady, I don't know anything. I don't know nothing about, you know, parking arrangements and this and that. And she was very mean to me. And I was like, wow. All this to say, hey, man, life is short. So, oh, yeah. whatever you got to do, like, <laughs> like, be nice to people, man, because literally i looked at her in that, in that casket and i was like i don't know who the hell you are and when i saw the photograph i was like oh that's you the first thing that i remember is that you was mean to me so check it like if i ever go and y'all invited to the to, to the party like hey you know what joe was a funny dude he could play some drums like i've never had any ill feelings towards joe joe was great um you know he kept things going blah 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 I don't want people to think ill of me because that's kind of wrong. Like, the first thing I thought about was the first time I met her. That's right. You know what I mean? Like, the first time I met her, we didn't click. Come on, man. Joe love everybody. Everybody love Joe. Right? It's a bad day. Something's wrong. But anyway. I think the moral of the story is tell Joe where to park. Let me park where I feel like parking at. Yeah. But anyway. It goes a little something by uh, Herbie Hancock, a little bit of watermelon there. Yeah.